I remember I was reading uh, some time ago your thesis on uh, Western civilization. And uh, I remember you said something like that, you know, uh, this uh, uh, people are some like uh, a French president uh, and uh, some Hungarian prime minister. They were talking about this European civilization, Western civilization, and return to its own roots. Yet some of them want to go to the roots of the Enlightenment. Uh, this, uh, then you say something like this, you know, again, this is a problem, you know, if you want to continue this Enlightenment tradition, it's a God, uh, still about universal appeal, rather than return to your own roots. Could you elaborate a bit on this view, if my memory serves me right? Yeah. Yes, uh, I think um, we, we should give up on this ambition of having universal rules yeah. that apply to everyone. Because what that means is that the rules are going to be rather empty and formal uh, and not rules that can satisfy human aspirations. So we are, I think, in the process of, of leaving that behind. Um, the idea of completely neutral rules is impossible. Uh, what we're realizing is that uh, many parts of the world uh, don't even understand that project uh, or they resist it because no. rules that look neutral at first, they turn out not to be neutral. I mean, a very simple example is when do you, do you have a, yeah. a, a day of holiday in the week? Yeah. Of course, a Muslim would want a Friday mm. and a Christian would prefer the Sunday. And it's not possible to have a neutral rule. Yeah. Uh, we should, uh, of course, embrace these differences and allow for them to grow in mm. depth mm -hmm. um, and for civilizations to develop uh, rather than trying to replace them with a completely abstract and neutral framework. Do you think eventually uh, European Union can become a kind of a civilizational community or civilizational state? <laughs> it, is, it is becoming. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. It is becoming. Um, it, it, it is meant to overcome nationalism, mm -hmm. but it's no longer in the direction of universalism. It's in the direction of a civilization state that countries join on the basis of their civilizational affinity. For example, we see now that yeah. Russia does not have that civilizational affinity, yeah. and perhaps it has a civilizational affinity with China, and Ukraine has that civilizational affinity. So we see that civilizational states are growing um, and uh, coalescing, solidifying. Yeah. I can even tell you what I think the, yeah. the European civilizational state is about. I think it's about a certain form of anarchism. Mm -hmm. uh, Europeans don't like state power. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a big difference That's uh, true. between yeah. China and yeah. Europe. Yeah. In China, state power is seen as a good thing for reasons yeah. that we can... Necessary virtue, not a necessary evil. That's, <laughs> That's right. the case. Exactly. <laughs> for Europeans for a long time, for many centuries, yeah. the state is something that yeah. in the end Oppressive. one should abolish, yeah. if possible. Yeah. And I think the European Union, in a sense, is not a state. Mm -hmm. It's a, a regime of rules, yeah. automatic rules, yeah. but not a state. Yeah. So we may even have succeeded in abolishing the state in Europe. Yeah. Uh, so, this is not for everyone. Yeah. This is not for the Chinese, yeah. have yeah. a different tradition. That's true. Yeah. But for us Europeans, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's of course a, a, a set of ideas that appeal to us. And one final question, you know, if there is this European uh, civilizational community or civilizational state, what will be the position of religion? I know it's very controversial because you have so much diversified population, and this whole idea of uh, European has a Christian tradition is controversial. Do you think that will be included in your idea of European civilization or community or state? Um, I think, uh, I think to be honest, we have overcome religion in Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps in China too. There, there is uh, some commonality there. Uh, religion survives, but as a personal experience, as a psychological experience. Uh, not as a truth anymore. Of course, the, as liberalism is in crisis in Europe, people are looking for something to replace it. Religion is sometimes offered as an alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, until we find a better alternative, a European civilizational state, uh, 
we're going to continue looking for uh, looking for a solution in religion, looking for a solution in liberalism. Yeah. I don't think they will work. Yeah. Um, and uh, Hungary, which represents a little bit of that return to religion, is uh, is not a majority voice in Europe. Uh, it's not taken very seriously. Um, and I think uh, Europe has already moved beyond religion. Good. So. I enjoyed this conversation very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.